Hello and welcome back to Chengi's World. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome and welcome again. I am Chengi and you, my precious one, are my world. And for those of you who are coming back to my channel, I love you and I'm so grateful for you. So today is Women As Wednesday. <laughs> I can't help myself, people. Can't help myself. Okay. <laughs> So today's question is one that um, wasn't, uh, that I actually wasn't sent to me, but a question that uh, was asked to, to, to somebody. And I thought to myself, that's a really good question for Women Ask Wednesday, because I used to ask it for myself. And that question is, why do I attract married men? Hands up if you feel like you're always being approached by married men. Hands up. Okay, I used to ask myself that question all the time. Why do I find myself constantly in a situation where I am being approached by married men or, or propositioned by married men? I used to feel like, um, what is it about me that raids whore or husband stealer? Okay, so if you're asking yourself that question, then this video is definitely for you. Or if there's a friend that's been asking herself that question, or if somebody that you know that's been asking herself that question, this is definitely for you. Now, one of the things that uh, will uh, attract a married man to you is when you have quite a bit of masculine energy. Now, let me explain that. If you come across as a very logical, rational woman who does not come across as an emotional being, so that tends to happen to women who are quite uh, business focused, very boss girl, very very kind of career orientated, sort of successful sort of women tend to attract married men. And the, what what is happening there is that they feel like having a relationship with you is not going to entangle them emotionally, that they can rationalize with you and, and they can give you a rationale to have an affair with them. So if you've noticed, if you find married men coming up to you, a lot of it is really coming at you from your mind. Um, let's just get, an, let's have an understanding. Um, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's get this to work because what they really don't want is to sacrifice the wife and the feminine energy at home and the children and the life that they have. They want somebody who will be understanding. So, um, of their situation, somebody who's rational, somebody who's not going to get emotionally entangled with them. So it might be that you're coming across with a lot of masculine energy, you're coming across a uh, very matter of fact, very business. And when they read that about you, that this girl is like, boom, 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 then I can approach her. I can approach her and give her what she's missing, all right? Um, you know, she's got money, she's got, you know, all of these things, but she doesn't have a man. So I can, you know, try and give her whatever. I remember having a, a married man saying to me that, you know, we just have to have an understanding. And I thought, <laughs> And what understanding is that, you know, he, in his mind, if we can understand each other and have a negotiation, then there's no reason why we can't have a sexual relationship because it's just about understanding one another, right? So you, you get that a lot if you, if you're quite masculine energy, but you can also get that a lot when you are naive, um, because you have to remember that the basis of a married man looking to find a married man doesn't. If he has a few things in his head, he mustn't get caught and he mustn't, he mustn't get caught by his wife and he mustn't get entangled. Things have to remain very uncomplicated for him. He doesn't want anybody who's going to try and get him entangled emotionally. He doesn't want to necessarily, he doesn't mind so much spending money. The men kind of feel like they're going to have to spend some money, but if they can find something they don't have to spend money on even better, but they're okay to trade um, for money. But really, two things is I don't want anybody who's going to start falling in love with me and asking me to leave my wife. And number two, I really don't want a, a situation where my wife will find out. So, so it has to be somebody with a lot to lose to or something to lose to. And it has to be somebody that I can emotionally manipulate or mentally manipulate. So emotionally, that's where the other woman comes in. If you are quite naive and you know have a kind of sweet spirit about you and and very light and airy, then a man will a married man will look at you and think, okay, I can manipulate her. I can tell her 
her that I love her, I can entangle her emotionally and make her so loyal to me that she won't betray me, she'll keep my secret because she will love me. So that is usually the two main reasons. Now, as long as we live in a world where there are women that agree to those deal, because it's sad for me to sit here um, and have to say this, but there are a lot of women, a lot who quite happily have an affair with a married man and not think anything of it because they would rather have a man than not man at all. Um, they would rather share your man than actually have their own guy. Um, and that's not because they're evil, wicked people. That's not because they really want to bring harm into another woman's life is just that they don't really truly have the self-worth and self-esteem. They might come across brash and confident and I don't care, but no one really wants to share another person's man. Nobody wants to come second. We only accept that for ourselves when you don't believe in your heart that you deserve more. And there's so many women who genuinely do not believe that they deserve um, to have love that is their own. They won't know that consciously, but it's in the back of, it, it's something that has, has been running in their lives where uh, maybe their mothers n never were never married or maybe um, they've not seen that love demonstrated and so they don't see why um, it would be possible for them to have love uh, and to have acceptance. So it is, you know, really quite possible that um, a lot of women would accept it. So there are women that are accepting those deals. And as long as there are women that are saying yes to these men, then what you're going to have is men trying it out with you anyway. But so it is most likely the most... Um, single girls and some married women will at some point be approached by a married man to have an affair. Um, but if you find that it's a consistent pattern in your life, then you are you are sending out a frequency um, of strength, uh, somebody who's emotionally detached, somebody who can rationalize, um, somebody who's understanding, um, all of which are good things and nothing to... to uh, to be ashamed of because they're wonderful qualities, but you just have to walk in that self-awareness that this is how I present. So a lot of men who are in, you know, in relationships are going to want to take advantage of, of, of that. So, um, you know, the, the most important thing is to walk in your femininity and, and, and walk in your, um, you know, in, in your feminine energy, but also just have a very clear answer for, for, for these men. And, and, and when you find yourself in the company and in the presence of a married man conducting yourself appropriately, um, you know, I, I, I thank God that whilst married men do approach me, they never try it more than once um, lately. When I was um, in my early days of dating, when I was a lot more vulnerable and new to everything, I was very susceptible to the lies and the deceit and the rationales and the logics of married men. It had never happened to me. I was married as a child, as far as I'm concerned. I was 19, so I'd never been out here. So when I did become single, I was very susceptible. And I do put that down to uh, low self-worth and low self-esteem and, and low everything, <laughs> okay? But um, now that I am the woman that I am and I've evolved into uh, the powerful woman that I am, I, I, I really have a zero tolerance. Um, I'm still polite and I'm, I'm still sweet, but, you know, I, I am very clear to, to, to make it known that I, I, I'm, it's not really that kind of party. So um, it, it will continue to happen because my platform is what it is, um, you know, uh, and, and the work that I do is what it is. Um, and until I am married, uh, and uh, it will continue to be what it is. But um, it's not a curse, uh, and I know it's highly frustrating. Uh, there's nothing worse than somebody with a ring on their finger or somebody who should really be wearing their ring. You know, you kind of think, but what are you on? You know, but actually, in some ways, it's a kind of reverse compliment. It, it means that, you know, you, you're somebody that is you know is uncomplicated but you know i've done videos on cheating um the cheating game so if you want to go look at those and um, uh about you know why men cheat why women cheat 
um, etc. Uh, go do that. But definitely, I would say it's it's it's, uh, it's definitely to do with 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 your energy and 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 the fact that you are more likely to 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 uh, to bring a situation into his life that is not complicated. He doesn't want a woman that's gonna fall in love with him and, and then try and make him leave his wife. Uh, that's pretty much the worst possible nightmare in in a man who is really trying to cheat on his uh, on his spouse. So. Um, that's that's partly the reason if i come up with more i'll let you know <laughs> but i thought it was very interesting and i and i hope that it brings comfort to somebody who feels like all they seem to be having a married man is not because you're too old is not because there's something wrong with you it's actually because there's something right with you in a way and and just being misinterpreted or being taken advantage of in the wrong way i hope this video really 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 helped somebody or helped somebody just a little bit uh, and i hope to see you soon on my next video in the meantime, take care of you. Love you lots. Bye-bye now.